did the Las Vegas Real Estate Market Fair for January 2019. Well, that's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas. Welcome to my February monthly market update for Southern Nevada. And in this issue, I will be going over January 2020 numbers. I can't believe I'm saying that it's already February. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna go by super fast this year. It's gonna go by super, super fast, which is sad. As you get older, the days just go by so fast. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the numbers. Southern Nevada's housing market had another big jump in sales last month, especially if you compare it to January 2019, while the home prices remained relatively flat. There were 2,283 single-family homes, which always compromises the bulk of the market, that sold in the month of January, down 12.5% from December but up 25.2% from January 2019. And this huge increase from last year is actually very significant. As I reported in my last month's market update, I had a feeling that January was going to be a very busy month, especially compared to January 2019 sales. We picked up a lot these last two months for December and January. And the medium sales price of previously owned single family homes dropped to 305,000. Last month it was um, 312,000, which is down 2.6% from December, but up 1.7% from the prior year, according to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. I'm actually glad to see that the medium sales price dropped to 305,000, because if it continued to keep on rising, then we would definitely have some affordability concerns. Southern Nevada also had a total number of 3,097 new listings for the month of January, which is up 54.8% from December, but down 18.6% from the prior year. There were also a total number of 4,906 single family houses listed without offers at the end of January, down 11.4% from December, and down 32.4% from the prior year. I'm really glad to see that we had an increase in new listings compared to December, but we are still very low um, in listings compared to January 2019, and that needs to change. If you are a seller, now is the time to sell. You don't even have to wait for the spring selling season because homes that are in awesome condition and price accordingly are selling fast now. Um, the most important thing to remember when you're listing your home is a couple of factors. And I've posted videos on this matter, I'll post a link to one of them up above. And the number one thing you need to consider is pricing your home accordingly. And what I mean by that is pricing your home at or below market value. Just because you feel your home is worth something doesn't mean that the buyers are going to buy it. If you have your home priced strategically, you may end up getting multiple offers and actually selling it at a higher price than listed. And number two, your home needs to be move and ready. It needs to be spotless. It needs to be decluttered. Uh, you need to clean your home top to bottom. And again, I posted another video on this. I think it's about tips to staging your home to sell because it's very important to have your home perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect looking move and ready. Um, if it's not moving ready and if it's not updated, then you need to price your home accordingly. If you're a seller, now's the time to sell. And if you're looking for an awesome agent that knows how to sell homes, I can help you out. Uh, I have a great marketing plan, very strategic on li my listings. So anyway, you can always reach out to me. There are still 2.1 months of housing supply in Southern Nevada, up 1.4% from January and down 46% from the prior year. So a month's of supply is actually a good indicator of if it's a buyer or seller's market. Anything under six months is actually a seller's market and anything over six months is a buyer's market. In the last three or four years, it's been a seller's market. 
However, just because it's labeled as a seller's market doesn't mean that you as the buyer cannot get a great deal. I can't stress that enough. The key again is having an awesome real estate agent that knows how to negotiate down a price and to make sure that they analyze what is going on with the market. I've worked with numerous clients where we were able to negotiate down a price and also have the sellers pay for their closing costs. So you need me. 46.1% <laughs> of the closings for the month of January was on the market for 30 days or less. In December, this number was 48.7. And in January, 2019, 48.3% of the homes were on the market for 30 days or less. And the key takeaway after analyzing these numbers only means two things for me. One, if the inventory continues to deplete, we are going to be in a situation where we are gonna have a lot of bidding wars. And people who are buying homes that are paying cash are going to trump over those that are doing traditional financing. And number two, with having these bidding wars, it's actually gonna increase our medium sales price and we may end up being close to our pre-recession peak, which was at 315,000. But remember inflation, it's really 398,000. But the point is, if there is not enough inventory, it's gonna be a typical supply and demand where the supply is low and the demand is high, it's gonna cause the prices to go up. <laughs> Basic uh, economics here, guys, please. I'm begging you sellers to list your home. Um, but again, if you're moving from out of state, don't fret that you can't find a good deal or that you can't get a good price on a home. We still have a lot of homes on the market that are moving ready that are ready for you to buy. So if you're a seller and you've been sitting on the fence about listing your home, I strongly advise you to do so now. I don't know what 2021 is going to bring, but I'm pretty good at predicting things. And I have a feeling that this year is going to be the peak um, for a while. And I think we're going to slum it down. Uh, not in recession terms, but I think that now is the time to sell. If you have equity in your home, if you're thinking about downsizing, all that good stuff, again, list your home. Seriously, list your home especially if you consider buying a new home, um, you wanna make sure that you have that equity that you can put towards your new home purchase. I've worked with a lot of clients where we've done both, where we listed their home and they also bought a new home. Well, that's about it for the numbers. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think is happening with the Las Vegas real estate market. Also, if you'd like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I posted a link down in the description below. And if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112, or I posted another link to a buyer seller form down in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed my monthly market update for February 2020. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm here to help you with all your real estate needs. As always, if you like this video, be sure, you know, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share this with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about this awesome Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you guys on the next one.